Hello everyone. I'm Suresh, the CEO of TechGyan. In our Connecting People to Information series, today we shall understand the basics of Microsoft licensing. Why this topic? Well, that's because Microsoft software is the most widely used software in the business world and not many companies are aware of various options available. So here it goes. Types of licensing. What you see here are the different licensing options available. We shall cover them in some detail over next few slides. Full pack or retail. As the name suggests, this is a retail off the shelf product ideal for home users or very small offices. So if you have a couple of PCs and you need MS Office, you can purchase Office Home and Business Edition. And once you have made the purchase, you can also buy software assurance within 90 days. The Software assurance is valid for two years and it gives you rights to the new edition if that is launched within the two year period. Please note that if you have purchased Office 2010 standard, you cannot install Office 2007. So no downgrade rights are possible. But the retail pack does give you the ability to use the same on a different PC once you decide to scrap the original PC. That means you can use the software forever, perpetual. And you also get support from Microsoft. Next we come to the OEM licensing. This is the most cost effective way to purchase the standard software. But please note that this can only be used on a new PC. And if you purchase Office 2010 Professional OEM, you can install Office 2007 Professional OEM. So OEM license does give you the downgrade rights. Unlike Retail Pack, you only get full operating system but not the upgrades. Support is from the system builder. That is, if you purchase HP PC, with Windows 7 OEM, then HP will provide support for the same and not Microsoft. The OEM license is specific to the PC. If you purchase, if you phase out the PC, the OS also gets phased out. If you format your PC, then you are allowed to install OEM license for three times only on the same hardware after which it lapses. That's very important, please understand. After three installs, it lapses. Next, we come to the open licensing. This is also commonly referred to as paper license or MOLP. To start a license, you need to buy at least five licenses which can be a mix of products. All Microsoft products are covered under MOLP. You can buy license which is L or license plus software assurance which is L and SA or only SA that is software assurance. If you take license plus software assurance for next two years you get free upgrades besides a few other benefits. At the end of two years, you can just take SA and you will again be covered for next two years. Typical cost of SA per year is around 30% of the license. Once you start an agreement of MOLP, the validity of the same is two years. For a two year period, even if you wish to add one extra license, you can do that. The two-year period does not mean that your software expires at the end of it. No. Only 
agreement expires so after expiry of agreement if you again wish to buy paper licenses you need to buy at least five licenses again to start a new agreement so the key point is that software you buy is for perpetual use also it is independent of the PC you install unlike the OEM license the payment needs to be made upfront at the start of the agreement since this is paper license if you need the media you have to purchase it at the nominal cost or you can download it for free so if you have purchased say 100 ms office licenses you can purchase only one media at about 1700 rupees per media or download it free of cost let's look at open license versus OEM and retail if you have a thin client environment then you need to and if you need to install MS office you would would install it on your server and access it from thin clients this is called network install rights the retail pack or OEM does not give you this right many companies prefer to create a standard desktop image consisting of operating system and applications and then deploy it on multiple PCs this is called re-imaging rights only open license has re-imaging rights when you buy a license of Windows you will buy the latest which is Windows 7 however you may want to install Windows XP this is downgrade rights only open and OEM offer downgrade rights in case of open licenses you can track your software licenses online by accessing a secure online Microsoft site for OEM and retail you have to physically maintain inventory of product keys and certificate of authenticity of every license For open, the activation is done using Windows volume, volume license key. For OEM and retail, this is required to be done for every individual PC. If you purchase Office 2010 via open route, you also get access to Office web applications which are web-based Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. The retail pack does not grant you the license to web applications you need to understand that's a very important aspect let's see open value the open value is another relatively less known offering from Microsoft it has three parts enterprise platform and additional products first let's look at open value enterprise this is meant for companies who wish to use the latest and the greatest software and want to standardize on Microsoft technologies say you've got 50 PCs and a couple of Windows servers like Windows Exchange SharePoint and System Center you can use open value enterprise and purchase 50 desktop operating systems and 20 MS offices and five client access licenses of the enterprise CAL which is a combined CAL of server technologies mentioned above so essentially you can actually make a mixed quantity purchase of these three categories in open value and, and you can start off with five licenses it's a three-year agreement to purchase the software and any additional products can be purchased under the agreement you will thus create only one open value agreement the products you include must be a combination of license and software assurance during the year you can add more products and you will be charged on pro rata basis all media are shipped free to you under the open value enterprise now let's look at open value platform 
This is similar to open value enterprise except that it is a company wide license. So if you got 50 PCs, you need to purchase 50 Windows operating system, 50 copies of MS Office and 50 enterprise CALs. The pricing of platform is lower than the enterprise, open value enterprise. And again, you can start off with only five licenses, which is fine. Like enterprise, this also has a three year agreement and you get free media for each product. The rest of the terms are similar to the enterprise open value. Now let's look at select plus. Essentially, this is valid if the PC count in a company is more than 250. Some of the features are, it's a single company-wide purchasing agreement and pricing for all business units. There is central reporting, software assurance and license management. There is no agreement expiry. Discounting on company-wide purchase volumes with zero forecasting. And there is a single company ID using which you can manage and view all assets across the company. Although software assurance is available, it is not mandatory in Select Plus. And one set of media is included. Now let's look at the Enterprise License EA. Like Select, This also works if the PC count is more than 250. The EA pricing offers the highest discount level. The enterprise agreement allows customers to use certain Microsoft software like Office on all the PCs. Customers typically combine enterprise agreement for their desktops with open or select for the servers. Enterprise agreement is based on qualified PC. This is important. A PC running Windows or Apple Macintosh is a qualified PC, whereas a PC running Linux is not a qualified PC. Enterprise agreement is easy to manage as it is based on simple count of your computers. It has the lowest cost among all plans. Note that the enterprise agreement always includes software assurance so the basic cost is going to be more. In Enterprise Agreement, you are given a license of Office Enterprise and Windows Enterprise. And it's a three-year agreement, global in scope, covering all the affiliates of the company across the world. Once a year, Microsoft requires you to take the inventory of your PCs. And if there are any additions, you pay on the Pro Rata basis. Subscription is more or less similar to enterprise agreement except that in subscription you subscribe, you pay subscription charges and there's a buyout option available at the end of the agreement. Friends, uh, hopefully I have been able to simplify the Microsoft licensing for you. If you need any further information, listed here is our information and you can get in touch with us. I thank you for your patient hearing and hope this session was useful to you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.